It'd be amazing if we actually got to see one. So the kiwi is a flightless bird. It's furry. And it's got quite a long nose. Or beak, if you like. So this is the kiwi's natural habitat. You see one? Well, there's something moving in there. What's that? That's it. You probably can't see that, but we can see movement. That a nice ride. Yes, and that was in our previous episode when we went on the tram. But this is an all new one. And I think it's time for a song, don't you, Paul? What's that? All together now, Daddy's taking us to the zoo tomorrow. The zoo tomorrow. The zoo tomorrow. Daddy's taking us to the zoo tomorrow. And we can stay all day. Yeah, we're visiting Auckland Zoo. Some very rare creatures are found at Auckland Zoo. This is the lesser seen Paul. Now, this is a very, very rare moment in time. Notice this very crazy laugh. Only to be heard in New Zealand. That's because the lesser seen Paul absolutely loves to be down under. Well, we are hoping to see some even more exotic creatures here today. Now, we were talking to the guy at the hotel this morning and he was saying, what are your plans for today? And we said, oh, we're going to the zoo because we want to see a kiwi. And he said, well, they are a very sort of strange kind of bird. They come out at night time. Yes, they're nocturnal. They can't fly and they're very furry. And apparently they can be quite shy as well. So we might not get to see one, but we will hear them rustling in the trees. If not, well, hopefully. You can purchase your ticket at the ticket counter here, or you can buy online. If you live in Auckland, it's cheaper. If you are a visitor, you pay a little bit more. We bought our tickets online last week. Well, the chap has said that we just have to scan it at the gate, which is right over here, I think. Yes, this is a map of the zoo. Now, we want to see the point where we might be. And I can't... Maybe oh, yes. Here is the entry and exit. So there are various areas. There's the Australia Bush Track, the South America Rainforest Track, the Southeast Asia Jungle Track, the Te Wao New, New Zealand area, and the Africa Safari Track. Oh, and Isian elephants as well. Oh, all right. Where should we go first? Well, the sign up here is pointing to Southeast Asia, South America, New Zealand, the vet hospital, and the Australia bush track. So where would you like to start off, Paul? Uh, somewhere foreign, maybe Australia. Well, let's just see what comes first. Yeah, and the sun is shining, isn't that amazing? Well, most things seem to be down there, but on this direction, we've got the vet hospital. So shall we see some animals being cared for, maybe? <laughs> to the vet mobile, transporting our vet heroes and the animals they care for. Look at this. <laughs> they teach you how to speak Maori here. So here are some terms. Would you like to have a go, Paul? Would the you like a drink? Oh, you need that one at the pub. He inu mao. He inu mao. No. Very good. Yes. I don't know. You as in shoe. Would you like a coffee? He kawi mao. Oh, no way. What? As in fish. He so calf. Calf mao. He calf mao. Okay. 
A, a as in car. So a, yes. A. Ah. Uh. And A as in car again. No. O. Oh. Ah. Uh. Cow. 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 Ka. Cow. Cow. So this is the Australia bush track. What's a br brolga? I don't know. Tasmanian devil. Ah. Oh. We don't really see that. Emu? Australian birds. Lace monitor. Is that kind of like a crocodile? Mm. Goliath. Oh. Spider. That's why we're not going to Australia. The rainbow fish, the cockatoo, and the water dragon. Ooh. Welcome to Australia, Paul. Yes, good to be here. Be very quiet. They like to bite. Listen, I hear birds chirping. Is that a parrot? Parakeet. Huh. Hello. It's a rainbow lorikeet. Look at the beautiful colors. There's another one over here. They're kind of camouflaged as well. There's one hiding in there. This is why we're not going to Australia. They have quiffs. Danny? Danny. <laughs> See? I knew, I knew. Kylie and Danny. <laughs> Okay. They should be so lucky. Look at the look, the fluffy bits. Yes. You, you guess what their surname is? Minogue. <laughs> Do they get um brushed or is it naturally like that? It's naturally. Like okay. That. Wow. Very interesting. Oh look, and look at this one up here, coming to join us. That's one of their neighbours. How old are they? Um, I'm not sure to be honest, but I think Do they live to be quite old or something? You look right. great. Alright. Are they the relatives of the parakeet? Oh, look! Shall we see if we can find Captain the Cockatoo? Captain is a male sulfur crested cockatoo who was donated to Auckland Zoo in 1990. Wow! So that makes him like 30, almost 35 years old. Captain, are you in? I think I saw a bird over there. Well, he'll be white. He's probably watching us, right? Like a hawk? Well, like a cockatoo. <laughs> ah, 
No sign of captain. Oh look, Tasmanian devil. Oh, I see it. Here it comes. Look. It's over there. Hello. Look. Where? Here. It's going back this way. There it is. Oh, hello. Looks like a doggy. Hello. Oh, it's going to the water now. Look. Is it just the one? Or does he have a friend? It's over here now, look. Is it doing <gasps> some laps? Yeah. Oh, look. Oh, there's the two. Oh, they're going in opposite directions. Yeah. I've never seen them before. You haven't? I don't think so. <gasps> They've never seen you either. <laughs> Let's go to South America next. What do you think we're going to see here, Paul? Spider monkeys. <gasps> Squirrel monkey. Yeah. Uh, this might be interesting. Alligator. Scary. Lizard lane. And there's also the old Elephant House restaurant, which we might take a look at. Sounds good. Very we've big. Got four Galapagos tortoises. The male, the, we've got two females and two males. Oh, they quite old. In the early forties. So wow. Quite young. Younger than me. They're <laughs> <laughs> just teenagers. Yeah. These ones are about two and a half years old. So they've got ah. a lot more to go. And what is the oldest one? Has ever lived. Like. Well, they say they can continue to live to 150 years. Oh wow. We haven't had them at the zoo. Wow, so that's, that's, like that's yeah. quite a Isn't it way amazing? Off. Yes. I think we're all wow. here. Yeah. For that. <laughs> Gosh. Well, I've never seen them this big before. Where have you seen them in other zoos? No, I, I think that. I don't think we've seen this particular breed. This That's big anymore. Anymore. Yeah. Yeah. They, they seem quite big. Yeah. And this is their. Is, is this their full adult size though? Or yeah, um, can they be bigger? I think they could get to be a little bit bigger. Oh wow. Yes. Because the ones that are like hundred and yeah. up, they're like more... Your sand. Bigger. Okay, yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, perhaps. Well, it started to rain, so I think we are going to try to get some lunch. Ah, <sighs> well, the Elephant Cafe was closed, unfortunately. It's raining, so we are going to get some shelter under here and you never know what might be spider around monkeys, the next maybe. corner whoa, whoa, whoa i thought you could because you said spiders because here is where the spider monkeys are well we're coming towards them. there's a really old looking house up there i wonder what's there oh i see something in the bushes look they're swinging i saw one If you see one monkey, then you're bound to see another one, and maybe even two. They're probably going to come out this way again. There, look, there's one there. Two. Oh, look, what are they doing? Is that like a branch or something? Yeah. I think this one's eating. So, hello. Oh, look. <laughs> look at this one. Look at his tail up on the rope. Or mating. Now, what else can we see? Look 
something scary, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are spiders in there. Look, I see one over there. That's a leaf. Oh, yes. They're here. I don't know about you, but it is way too hot right now. You need to stay cool, and to be cool, just subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's Paul and Marcus. Southeast Asia. Paul, what can we see here, do you think? Orangutan? Mm. I don't know what uh, CMA. Another monkey. But look, otters, tigers, oh my. We said tigers, and look, there's Ooh, one there. I was going to say fast asleep, but I think he's just heard me. Just looking up. So that was the Sumatran tiger. You see one walking? Where? I don't see. Oh, those, oh, those tree things. Do you see it right over there? That open bit? The one near, near the, the cage? cage? Are you sure? You still see it? I don't see anything. Yeah, it's, it's moving. It's going back this way now. Left. Oh, it? yes, it's, it's back there. Yes, it just shows the camouflage, right? I don't think the camera will have picked it up, but yeah, I just saw some stripes pass. <laughs> Let's go and find out. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. God, it's really hard to breathe in here. It's so hot. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Yes, it is quite foggy now. This feels like london on a really hot summer's day or new york for that matter it's when your legs start to sweat and you find difficulty walking Is but it yeah raining? no i think it's just raining in here it's a tropical rainforest you see so i think it's artificial rain coming down i hate the rain but there's lots of fishies around here to too <laughs> oh fishy look at these Look at them all. Look at this, Paul. Look yeah, look. Look at them, they're all swimming in unison. There's a little one getting left behind, saying, hey, I'm not part of this lot. It is raining in here, it's amazing. I've so heard. many different types of fish. Look at the size of these. That looks like a sea bass or something, right? What, your dinner? <laughs> Hello, dinner! <laughs> I don't think they're amused. Too hot for you in here, Paul. Yes. See you later. Oh. Oh, that's better. Much better. It's not raining out here. Now I know why or they said it? that it is. Why is it so foggy? <laughs> this is the Siamang. It's 
two of them. There's one over here. I saw one walking down there, I thought. Look, there it is there. It's swinging. Not that great these days. Thanks very much for asking. Time to go native now, Paul. Oh, We're in the New Zealand zone now. What do you think we can see here? A Kia. Takahani. Wild. Uh, I don't know what, how to pronounce that. Tuatara. Oh, all right. Kiwi. Hopefully, but it is a bit too sunny for them. No, but they're indoors in an enclosed oh. nighttime area. Shall we head to the coast? Yes. Uphill. Look at this absolutely fantastic Maori symbol. Look over there. Is that some type of walrus? So this is a kakeno, a New Zealand fur seal. Push it. Real good. Is it humid? This is amazing. I love this. It's a little workshop. Look at the old TV. Oh, wow. They are all rescue birds. Corora. They're so tiny. They're hiding underneath the boat. Mm -hmm. They must like a little hidey place. Look, they're going in. How many are there? Like five, six of them? Did he jump up? Yeah. Listen. I can see seven of them now. New Zealand's wildlife has evolved in isolation from the rest of the world over millions of years. As humans settled the country, introduced pests devastated native wildlife and habitats. Our animals were defenseless against rats, stoats, dogs and cats. Many species were lost forever.
Yes, you have to push it then. Oh. Are these the special animals? Do not tap on the glass, please. It almost doesn't look real. It's only when it blinks, and that's not very often. He's in it watching us. Yeah, with his beady eye. We need to prove that it is actually real. It's so still. Look at that. Amazing. Statuesque. Blinking. The moment I stop filming, it will blink. I guarantee you, right? Oh, go on, give us a little blink, please. One blink for yes, two for no. And three for I don't know. This blink. Right, I'm going to stop filming now, and if it blinks. The moment I stop, I'll tell you. If not, then it didn't blink. <laughs> the burrowing parrot. Oh. Is that a bit like a rabbit? <laughs> what is that? Avocado? Looks like it, right? Not sure. Or is it a kiwi fruit? Sorry for disturbing your lunch, dear. I think we have just seen a Kara Ricky. Kaka Ricky. Now, Paul, you are going to tell us a traditional Maori story now. Is this the front page? Oh. Maori and Tiki. Speak up. Once upon a time in Aya, Aya, Aotearoa, Maui and his brothers captured the son Tara to slow him down and make the days longer. Catching the sun was hot work. This made Maui very thirsty. He asked Taiki to bring him some cold water but Tawiki pretended not to hear. An angry Maui grabbed Tiki with his hands still hot from battling Tara and he burnt the feathers of Tiki. To this day, you can still see the red marking on Tiki's back. Hello duckies! Lots of different types of duck in here. So we've got the Kura Wengi, the Papango, the Titi, the Poka. Oh wow! What are you doing, Marcus? I'm trying to find our subscribers. They seem to have disappeared. So please subscribe! <laughs> Thank you.
night sky. The brown kiwi. I don't think we're going to see them. They're very shy, Paul. They don't like coming out at night. Well, they come out at night, but they, they don't like to be seen. It'd be amazing if we actually got to see one. So the kiwi is a flightless bird. It's furry. And it's got quite a long nose. Or beak, if you like. Wow. So this is the kiwi's natural habitat. Do you see one? Well, there's something moving in there. What's that? I think this is it. That's it. You probably can't see that, but we can see movement. Well done, Paul. We saw one, but we didn't really see one. Yeah, all we saw was a big, shadow. sort of a furry shadow. So they also have owls in here, the Ruru. The owl might be up in the tree somewhere. You can certainly hear them. We, we did see the shadow of the kiwi. We did. So I think we're safe to say that we've seen one. Oh, I think we're going to go. Into a library of some sort. We saw the kiwi, but we didn't see one. That's rather disappointing, but I do understand. Yes, well, I think they're very rarely actually seen. And I guess it would hurt them to see the light. Indeed. So we must um, respect that. Indeed. Oh, wow, look at this. We're in the forest now. Look at that absolutely incredible Maori statue wow. with the sun shining behind it. It's rather poignant. We have up to 4.30. This is a traditional New Zealand forest. It's almost like a jungle. It seems quieter in here as well. Mm. Maybe some animal will jump out and scare us. <laughs> One of the birds that you might see in the forest is the tui. The tui is easily identified by the curled white tuft under its throat. This might be the only one we see today. Well, it's raining. It's actually raining oh. for real now. Um, so we've entered the high country and it is supposed to be a really sort of a rugged environment and it really does feel like that with the weather right now. 
Look, the high country hut. Maybe we will have some refuge from the rain in here. Antelope or something. Really? Water buck. Well, the zoo's about to close and we've just about time to go to the Africa zone. And look, we've been welcomed by water buck. Look at the flamingos. These are greater flamingo. When I see these, do you know what I think of? Miami Vice. You're too young to remember that, Paul. The original one. What, the original series? The way it opened with the flamingos. Or is it just flamingo then? Is that the plural? There they are. They're enjoying the late afternoon sunshine. Yeah, we're just lying about. This is ominous, look. Paul Prince. Which way is it? 
Huh? Follow the paw prints, Paul. It's time for us to go. Before because, we get closed down. Yes, we don't want to be enclosed overnight. Sleeping with the animals. Sleeping with the animals. But no, I'm not saying that they are trapped in here. Far from it. This is probably the best zoo that we've been to. There's so much space here and the animals all seem so very content. The environment in each section mm. has been set specifically for them. So I think Auckland Zoo probably, you know, it's just fantastic. The best zoo we've been to, possibly the best zoo in the world. Panic is setting in. <laughs> the zoo closes in less than 15 minutes and we can't find our way out. Jeez. Although I see cars over there on the other side of this fence. Hopefully it's around this corner. Gosh, I hope so. I see civilization. I can see the entrance here. I hope there's time to visit the gift shop. Let's do it now.